Alzheimer's disease, without a doubt, the hallmark feature of Alzheimer's disease is um, memory loss. Without a doubt, it's memory loss. And so there's different parts of the brain that encode memory and, or, and that store memory. And so with Alzheimer's disease, the, the characteristic pattern of Alzheimer's disease is people will have non-promptable memory loss. Their memories don't respond to prompting. So for example, what we might do is we might um, say, okay, I want you to remember three words. Uh, I always do apricot, table, and penny. Those are my three words. Okay, so I say, I want you to remember three words, apricot, table, and penny. And then we'll distract them with another task, and then we'll go back and we'll say, okay, what were those three words? And a person with Alzheimer's disease, um, they, they won't remember the words. They're not able, their brains aren't able to encode the words. And so then I'll say, um, okay, well, it seems like you're struggling to remember the words. Let me just, let me give you a hint. Um, one of them was a fruit. And they still don't get it. And I'll say, okay, well, was it uh, an apricot, a banana, or a cherry? And then they're just truly guessing. And so people with Alzheimer's disease, not only do they have memory impairments, but their memory impairments are non promptable. They don't respond to cues, okay? That's kind of the hallmark feature of Alzheimer's disease. They don't, early on, that's what we'll see, is they have these non-promptable memory deficits. Um, and so with Alzheimer's disease, let's see if I can shift this up, what's happening in the brain is, and again, I don't want to talk a lot about the biology, but nonetheless, I do think there's some important words to know. And so there's, there, there's, there's different pathological changes that are happening in the brain. Right here, um, we have the temporal lobe would be in this area right here on the side. And then right up front is the, uh, of course, the frontal lobe. And, and so buried in the temporal lobe is a structure called the hippocampus. Hippocampus. And the hippocampus is where memories are encoded. And so within the hippocampus, or what starts out near the hippocampus and then spreads into the frontal lobe are these pathological changes that are called um, tangles and plaques. And so in a typical nerve cell, if you look at a nerve cell under the microscope, you'd be able to see um, you know, a nucleus right here, which is the center of the nerve cell, and then you'd see clear cytoplasm surrounding the the nucleus. In patients with Alzheimer's disease, there's a protein called tau, and, and the, the whole cell just darkens out. And so it just, you'll see these tangles where you have these intracellular um, protein accumulations, and the whole cell just darkens out and it dies. And so that's, that's what a, a, a tangle is. For plaques, there's different proteins that nerve cells secrete. And so one of the, um, one of the proteins uh, that they secrete is what's called, um, uh, uh, and it's an amyloid protein. It's an um, amyloid precursor protein, which then gets spliced up into different ways. And sometimes when, it gets, when this protein gets cut, it's healthy, and, it's neuro, and the product is neuroprotective. But sometimes when this protein gets cut, this amyloid protein gets cut, it, um, it, it doesn't fold correctly, it becomes really sticky, and you'll get these extracellular accumulations called um, plaques or amyloid plaques. And so if you look at brains under the microscope, it's just filled with this amyloid plaque. And so you'll get all these little plaques all in the brain and then you get all these tangles and the whole front part of the brain and the temporal lobe of the brain just fill up with, with plaques and tangles. And these plaques and tangles are neurotoxic, they kill nerve cells, and that's where the cognitive loss comes from. That's where the memory loss comes from. It's coming from these pathological brain changes. Okay, so that, that's Alzheimer's disease.